Hello Internet, and welcome to some moderately modded Minecraft. Here in the Masquerade series, I'll be randomly assigned an origin, and any time I die, I get assigned a new origin. This is an idea you may have already encountered in a few other places, but I'm alone in this world. I'm only racing myself to see which origin survives to build a mega build first. With each uh, new origin, I would have to create a new starter base, unless I've had such ill fortune that I randomize back to one of the origins I've already had, at which point I can continue from where I left off, albeit separated by the passage of time and the working of the other incarnations. I'm aware that there are many, many origins available, but I feel like the classic set deserve a showcase. Where am I? What is this? Uh... Ah. I... Well, at least it's sort of pretty and there are some floating islands, so it doesn't feel that strange. But as a cute little ladybug elytron, the overworld is just not my home. So my long-term goal is to try to get back to the end where I belong, and maybe set up my little sky fleet. However, in the short term, I appear to be stuck in the overworld, and I may as well get to work building somewhere safe to hide, because the sun is rising, and I remember something about being in the overworld at night not being a good idea. What are those trees? Redwood! That's what I'm in. Hmm. Well, I think a medium-term goal is to get up on that cloud island. Because Cloud Islands just always seem like nice places to be. Ooh, village. I heard that was a feature about the uh, overworld. I did a little bit of reading, even if I didn't intend on getting stranded somewhere far from home. I always got taught as a little baby elytron that if I did end up in the overworld, villages were a great place to get a little leg up on getting started. Well, that's not great. I don't like it when nature is being lit on fire. I also don't like lava lakes this close to town. Who designed this place? But... And I don't need saddles. I'll leave the villagers their tools. I will... Where did I get weakness and slowness from? I don't have anything equipped. All oh, right, indoors. It's terrible. But I will need this nether. Uh, I will need this obsidian to get to the nether so that I can get some blaze rods to make my eyes of ender to get home. And I'm just going to give up that poor villager's house. I think is doomed. I'm not certain it can be saved. I'm sorry, villager. I tried! I, I put out the fire! Twice! Uh, I'm just gonna borrow some wheat seeds. I'm sorry. It, it's not stealing. I'm replanting. Honestly. Ooh! What's that over there? Ooh! Flowers! They're so pretty! purple, and it's flowers. Look, I'm a shameless elytron who knows exactly what she wants. And what she wants is pretty things. Why is there always lava ruining my pretty, pretty things? 
And let's just fly back to the village for the evening. And ask if I can borrow one of these villagers' beds for a night. Uh, very urgently. Sir, I'm very sorry, but yeah, I need some sleep. Let this work, let this work. Come on. Overworld magic. Set time to morning. I was worried about that. But it looks like, like I do have the player blessing. And I know, I know, I'm stealing crops from the poor village, but I'm hungry. Now to really make the palette uh, I've got an idea for work, I'd want to have a third wood in green. But I think mm. we can still get some of the idea across with just the red wood and charcada. Of course, I'm going to need to scaffold out a bit. So let's chop down some of the trees over here in the nice easy forest. Even if I do very much want to have an axe to make my building easier, I think that my initial set of diamonds here should probably go into making a pickaxe. So that I don't have to spend anywhere near as much time in the deep dark underground where everything is terrible. And can spend more time out here in the nice pretty sky. And I'm just using these scaffolding blocks so that I can get this floating out nicely above the lake at a suitable distance. And I feel like this should be raised up a couple blocks. Yeah, like that. And now to do the lower of the two rings. I have not got anywhere near enough Jakarta logs with me to actually build this, but that's fine. Because there are plenty more Jakarta trees around here. Mm. Well, let's make that diamond pickaxe so that I can start gathering the other upgrades I'm going to need. That's slightly too shallow a surface cave. And that's deep and dark and I don't like it. I was entirely correct to not like it. And at some point I will really pay back these villagers for all of the food I keep borrowing off them. But I'm a poor hungry elytron right now. One way though I can pay back the villagers a little. It's just making it so that you can actually reach your furnace. Back, I say. Oh, that worked. Creeper has been suitably discouraged from ruining my day. Perhaps not quite the right red and the right pink to border it, but I still think that that looks very much like the flower petal I was trying to create. And also very much like I will need more redwood. Tis not the most perfect set of leaves I've ever seen. Indeed, I have seen many much more perfect and think that this was a good first draft, but it needs to go. Oh, 
Well, the leather pants by themselves look rather awkward. But it's still an upgrade that I can actually wear. And I suppose if I'm willing to spend one of my lovely precious flowers on this, much better. And I suppose there is some advantage to roofs, and that is getting rained on a little bit less. <sighs> Unfortunate side effects of living in the overworld. Rain. And since at the moment my primary concern is shaping, it doesn't actually matter what materials I use to scaffold with, just as long as I'm aware that that's what I'm doing and that I'm consistent. And I think with that, I have the shape laid out for how I wish to arrange the flower petals. But it's time for me to gather a little more stone to make another axe, and I may as well continue trying to push towards iron and actually useful resources. Ha! To the cave with enough space for me to fly out of here in a hurry if I need to. Which I must indeed do. because I still hate fighting skeletons. Well, I don't think that's quite where I intend this to stay as its permanent home. The little folds between the petals is exactly where I intend to put something. And here we have a storage for all the things I can't quite use yet, but will soon. Forgive the definitions of soon. I'll fix up my storage, I swear. I just need to finish my pretty flower. Okay? And it's fortunate that the end magic that keeps things floating still works even when I'm in the overworld. Because how else could I build my series of floating platforms? All nice and elegant. And there we go. A little bit of a parkour challenge. But nothing I can't handle. And hopefully nothing my enemies can. And oh, I love it. Of course, now I have to actually figure out how to make this practically useful as a starter base, which is an entirely separate question. And now that, it, now that I've actually finished up my base enough to consider what I'm going to be putting in here, besides a bed and a crafting bench, let's look at this uh, mysterious book I've found. It seems to be a guide to crafting things. Using overworld materials, and that could be useful. Still, I think at this point I've skipped past most of the initial portion of this, so I need to make some crowd and a book. Sand, clay, and gravel. Still the same recipe Let's I remember. Just get together. At least the first step. Get some gravel. We have plenty of sand on that beach, and I think I saw some clay in the water. Yep. 
And here I am being flighty as an avian. I set out a goal involving a floating lake that I'd seen over one of these redwood forests, and I haven't gone back and done that. Let's grab some of my leftover pillaring wood and find out what exactly is going on on that floating island. Oh, that's a big cave. That is one of the honking big caves. That's how you find diamonds. I will be back for this. I think next episode, I will be conquering that cave. Or getting conquered by that cave. Oh, and these slimes are so fun to punch and they make lovely squishing noises. So bouncy. It's really nice. Oh, and a wood type I don't have yet. How pretty are you? Oh, I love it. I love it already. So pretty. This is exactly what I needed to finish up my flower. Because you know how I was saying that it needed like a green or something to... This is blue rather than green, but ooh, I love it. And the sun's setting, but if I know my slime island lore, the only thing that will spawn up here are more slimes. And they're nice and cute. Easy to break. Now let's just grab a little sample of this uh, slime mud. Ew, I don't quite like how this feels on my hands, but ick, ick, ick. Let's grab it anyway, because I think the saplings that I really love need some of this, and it... No. No, I can't even mind the... Fine, I will simply have to back in the future. And I'll definitely be back with shears for the slime vines. Because I just know I'll be able to find uses for those. And since I have such a high starting elevation, I should even be able to get back to my base from here. Without ever having to touch the ground. So, up next, getting some paper to make a book so I can find out what the secret is of this slime that I've acquired, figuring out how to set up a bit more of my Tinker's setup, right, delving into the secrets of better tools, and a very nice cave. All coming to you next time, but first using some of my precious, precious skyroot planks to just trace out but I love it it's a cute little thing 